एवरीवन गुड आफ्टरनून माय नेम इज एसआर हेलो एवरीवन गुड आफ्टरनून माय नेम इज एसआर पुष्टि एंड यू आर वाचिंग माय ब्यूटीफुल चैनल लव यू साइंस सो इन दिस लेक्चर व्हाट आई एम गोइंग टू डू एज पर द बेसिक इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग सिलेबस आई विल कवर सिंगल फेज इंडक्शन मोटर सो दीज आर द फॉलोइंग थिंग्स आई विल कवर बेसिक डेफिनेशन बेसिक कंस्ट्रक्शनल फीचर ऑफ सिंगल फेज इंडक्शन मोटर एंड इट्स वर्किंग प्रिंसिपल एंड फाइनली इट्स एप्लीकेशन सो लेट्स स्टार्ट Coming to the definition of single phase induction motor. Single phase induction motor is a AC motor. As you know, motor is a device which converts electrical energy to mechanical energy. As you know, electrical energy are two type AC and DC. So here in single phase induction motor, we are providing single phase AC and we are getting mechanical as our output. Mechanical parameter like speed and torque. So overall, we can say single phase induction motor is a AC motor where input is single phase AC and output is mechanical. and the principle is based on faraday's law of electromagnetic induction and lenz's law i'll explain this one in next slide so another thing you remember it is not self starting motor so we need to uh, go for a starting phenomenon like we'll have to make some kind of arrangement in terms of winding so i'll, I'll explain in next slide <coughs> okay induction motor ka basic construction kya hai the basic construction it has two parts one is stator second is rotor single phase induction motor has two parts one is stator second is rotor so so this is the uh, constructional diagram uh, diagram of single phase induction motor so the outer cover is called is called stator and the inner part is called rotor so stator kya hai stator is the stationary part so the outer part is fixed which is stationary it has two winding one is main winding second is auxiliary winding so it has two winding main winding and auxiliary winding so the stator uh, stator kya hai stator is nothing but it is a laminated core with stator winding matlab it is a laminated core with some magnetic field winding usme do winding hota hai ek to main winding aur ek auxiliary winding i'll explain what is the role of auxiliary winding okay uh, in next uh, second is rotor rotor kya hai rotor is the rotating part of the machine so this this is this is rotor rotor is the rotating part of the machine so it is basically it is a squirrel case rotor with copper bar short circuited by end rings matlab these are the copper bar matlab thick copper conductor a thick copper wires and in both side uh, it is being sorted with uh, end rings these are the end rings and it, this windings are sorted so again i repeat induction motor has two parts one is stator stator matlab jo outer part hota hai stator is stationary part and inner part is called rotor rotor is rotating part so both are core to so stator core mein kya hota hai stator core is a laminated core with two winding two stator winding stator winding matlab jo field winding hota hai so there are two type of field winding one is main winding second is auxiliary winding one is main winding second is auxiliary winding coming to rotor part rotor uh, ka structure kya hai it's kind of cylindrical structure and isme kya hota hai <coughs> copper bars are short circuited by the end rings so these are the copper bars or you can say thick copper wire this field winding are thin copper wire but this uh, rotor bar are thick copper wires and which are uh, sorted from uh, in both the ends right so if i if i see uh, the cross sectional view of that motor so i'll find this kind of diagram So here single phase supply is given to the stator stator is the outer part see this stator is the outer part it has two winding one is main winding second is auxiliary winding so isme dekho jo green color mein diya hua hai that is main winding and yellow mein dekho these are the auxiliary winding matlab this is uh, cross sectional view and second part kya hai rotor so the inner side is called rotor rotor has rotor bars or rotor conductor so these are the rotor conductors or rotor winding you can say so overall we can say the induction motor has two parts stator and rotor stator is the stationary part rotor is the rotating part stator kya hota hai it's a laminated core with two windings two field winding one is main winding second is auxiliary windings so these are the copper thin copper wires which is, which are wounded over a pole isme stator mein pole hota hai magnetic pole hota hai so why winding is necessary Uh, as you know current carrying conductor will produces magnetic field you know the principle of solenoid so we can we can generate magnetic field by by taking a coil uh, which will be wounded over a core second is rotor rotor has uh, rotor is the rotating part it is basically square case rotor 
uh, since uh, these rotor conductors are short circuit okay so i think up to this it is clear next uh, what is its working principle as i have told a rotor a stator is the this is a circuit diagram circuit symbol stator has two winding one is main winding second is auxiliary winding so both the windings uh, are connected in such a fa fashion that the ang electrical angle between the two winding will be 90 degree right so about its uh, um, inductance and resistance we can say the main winding has high inductance matlab it is highly inductive coil and auxiliary winding has high resistance matlab auxiliary winding sir is high uh, having high resistance is clear so single phase supply is given to the stator winding here so uh, the input current is i so here i will be getting divided one is im current through main winding second is is current through auxiliary winding or you can say static, static winding and <clears throat> what is the necessity of starting winding um isme to detail nahi hai syllabus mein but uh, main aur ek video banaunga usme i'll explain in detail what is the necessity of starting winding so just remember starting winding hum log use karte aur auxiliary winding we are using to uh, split the phase like by using this winding we can make a revolving magnetic field so <coughs> see there are two winding here this is main windings uh, uh, second one is auxiliary winding the angle between the two winding is 90 degree so what will happen uh, <coughs> due to the interaction between two field winding or we can say due to the auxiliary winding and main winding a rotating resultant rotating magnetic field will be developed that uh, magnetic field it's a imaginary magnetic field imaginary magnetic field will be revolved right so now if i keep a conductor inside a rotating magnetic field as per the faraday's law of electromagnetic induction emf will be developed so as i have told this this one is rotor rotor me kya hota hai rotor conductor so if i keep the rotor inside the rotating magnetic field emf will be induced in the rotor as you know as per the faraday's law of electromagnetic induction that is rate of change of magnetic flux is directly proportional to emf either we can rotate a conductor inside the magnetic field or keeping conductor as stationary we can rotate the magnetic field to get emf so here magnetic field is rotating and conductor is fixed and we are getting some emf in the rotor conductor since rotor bars are short circuited heavy current will flow that is called rotor induced current so matlab induced current will flow through the rotor winding since it is short circuited the current will be very high so now now the point is if heavy current will flow so it will bond out so then what will happen so we need to uh, we need to uh, uh, oppose the relative motion as per the lenz law as i have told the principle of uh, single phase induction based on two things one is faraday's law second is lenz law one is faraday's law second is Le lenz law as per the faraday's law emf is induced in the rotor due to um, uh, this change in magnetic field understood are actual dekho kya ho raha hai na if single phase supply is given single phase ka nature kya hota hai ac ka nature kya hota hai sinusoidal hota hai so magnetic flux ka bhi nature kya hoga sinusoidal hoga so there are two magnetic flux will be developed one one will be phi m second is phi so the resultant magnetic field will be revolved or will be rotating in 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 in, in this area so here we can keep the rotor uh, that rotor so matlab rot in, inside the rotor will be getting what emf according to faraday's law then second law kya hai lenz law so lenz law kya hai the current which will be induced due to faraday's law of electromagnetic induction that will oppose the cause so here what is the cause so cause matlab it will reduce it will reduce or it will oppose the relative speed so initially what is the relative speed relative speed is maximum which is ns since rotor mein to rotor to initial rest mein hai so what is the speed of rotor zero so jo bhi speed mil raha hai that ns mil raha hai ns matlab it's a imaginary magnetic field इमेजिनरी मैग्नेटिक फील्ड का मतलब क्या है देखो ये मान लो कि एक पोल है एक्चुअली क्या होता है देखो वेन एवर यू आर प्रोवाइडिंग और एक स्लाइड में दिखा रहा हूँ देखो देखो वेन एवर यू आर प्रोवाइडिंग अल्टरनेटिंग सप्लाई इसका दो साइकिल होता है पॉजिटिव हाफ साइकिल नेगेटिव हाफ साइकिल पॉजिटिव हाफ साइकिल में मान लो कि ये नॉर्थ पोल आ रही है साउथ पोल आ रही है तो नेगेटिव में इंस्टेंटली क्या हो जाएगी ये साउथ या नॉर्थ हो जाएगा अंडरस्टूड सो मतलब कि दोलरिटी ऑफ द मैग्नेटिक फील्ड विल बी चेंजिंग 
with respect to the polarity of the power supply. So here this this magnetic field will be revolved. मतलब ये position अगर N S है, so उसके बाद change हो जाएगा. ये N S हो जाएगा. मतलब this imaginary magnetic field will be revolved, right? So the relative speed is N S. Due to the relative speed, N N S relative speed current will be maximum. So to reduce that one or to oppose that one, the rotor has to move in the same direction of the revolving magnetic field. मतलब here N S is the uh, speed of rotating revolving magnetic field. So मतलब there should be some speed of rotor. To reduce that or to decrease that relative speed, understood? So hence the relative speed will be N S minus N R, right? यहाँ तक clear? ये lens ला is very important. I'm not, uh, I'm not going to explain in detail because B W E syllabus में बहुत कम है. So to understand the entire concept, it will take more time. Uh, so in here you just write, you can write down in exam. Whenever single phase AC supply is given to this rotor winding, the revolving magnetic field will be developed. That re the revolving magnetic field will be rotating. Mm, then, if we keep the rotor uh, <coughs> rotor having rotor conductor, EMF will be induced in the rotor uh, as per the Faraday's law. Then, rotor current will be flow since it is short circuited. Current may be heavy. Uh, then, as per the Lenz law. That current will oppose the cause. Cause is the relative speed. So it has to decrease the relative speed. That's why rotor has to move in the same direction of uh, that magnetic field. मतलब rotor का direction clockwise. अगर magnetic field का direction clockwise है, rotor का direction भी clockwise होगा. So बस इतना तक लिखना है. अगर mathematical equation लिखना है, uh, if uh, C uh, input current is I, the current will be getting divided. One is I M, second is I S. I am क्या है? I am मतलब current through main winding. Due to this main winding, magnetic flux भी develop होगा. वो उसका nature क्या होगा? Sinusoidal uh, magnetic flux in the main winding will be phi max into sin omega t. दोनों का maximum value same होगा. And auxiliary current is I s. Auxiliary flux is phi, which will be phi m sin omega t minus theta. क्यों minus theta? Because दो ये है highly inductive circuit, highly resistive circuit. So there is an angle difference between these two current. One is I m, other is I s. So that angle difference is theta. Do not say phi. Phi is the phase difference. मतलब that is the angle between voltage and current. Here you can say it is theta. That's why मैंने phi नहीं लिया मैं theta लिया. To make you more understand, theta is the angle between two current. Okay. So resultant torque. जो भी mechanical power मिल रहा है in terms of torque. Torque का equation है. The torque is directly proportional to the product of uh, magnetic flux due to main winding and and flux in the due to auxiliary current and auxiliary winding into sin of theta matlab torque is proportional to phi phi into sin sin theta theek hai so next uh, coming to your application part application to easy hai application matlab ghar mein jo fan hota hai fan mein use hota hai like refrigerator ac mein use hota hai vacuum cleaner washing machine centrifugal pump or any electrical tools Uh, like your drill machine and all okay so these are the applications hope you guys understood what i have explained thank you so much for watching my video thank you